Well, we took uh, 14 students from Sherman and 14 from Ewing, and we had a manufacturing day. And what we did first was we went to Midwest Fabricating out in Amanda, um, and they were great hosts. They gave us a complete tour of their process from start to finish. Um, they showed us some of the products they made, talked a lot about the industry uh, altogether, and also the perks, the, the benefits they offer their own employees there. And we got to meet a lot of those employees and talk with them. Um, after that, we went to OUL and toured their um, manufacturing lab. I didn't even know it existed, and it was so cool. I could have spent all day there. But they have an engineering technology program, and they had some students there demonstrating the, the simple, the manual tools, as well as the computer-driven uh, tools. And we saw a lot in the plastics lab as well. I really like engineering, and, tech, and I also love technology. So when I heard that we were going to be going on an engineering and technology field trip, that kind of like, that kind of like sparked an interest inside of me. I thought it was just amazing to see how easily they were able to bend it and use things and program. And they say it's like simple, but in a way, all the programming, it looks like it takes a while. Yeah. There are a lot of career opportunities out there for people, and some that require a college degree, like the engineers and accountants, and, and some that don't necessarily require a college degree. But at, at both places, what we heard were words like teamwork and collaboration. I hope that what we're doing in the robotics classes here at the junior high, the STEM inclusion we're doing in science classes, and of course what's going on at the high school with the STEM program, I hope we're showing kids that there's uh, a lot of opportunities here within the science, engineering, math related fields. Um, you know, and the fact that I think it's a, a false assumption that somehow you have to be an honor student to, be, to get into these fields. I think there are kids that just have that kind of savviness for hands-on work, for problem-solving work um, that doesn't always translate to the traditional classroom as well.